Hey folks, Aldo here. For those who may not know me, I'm a ZTM alumni who went from absolutely no tech background or experience to becoming a full stack developer. And now I've made it my mission to help others thrive and succeed in their own journeys. Today we're diving deep into an exciting and rapidly evolving field, data analytics. Now I know this data umbrella is a big one and can get tricky really quick. But don't worry, we're here to simplify things. Listen, I'm no data expert, but lucky for you, this information isn't coming from me. We're fortunate enough to have insights from ZTM instructor and data solutions engineer, Travis Kuzik. With over a decade of experience working for some of the biggest Fortune 500 companies, Travis knows the ins and outs of data like no one else. With that said, we'll be breaking down what a data analyst actually is and what they do as well as some reasons on why you may want to consider this career. Plus, I'll share an exact step-by-step -step roadmap with resource recommendations that you can follow to become a data analyst. Without further ado, let's get into it. So what is a data analyst? Data analysts are individuals who take raw data and interpret it to uncover trends and insights. Their work helps organizations understand current situations and make informed decisions. In simple terms, their job involves three main steps, collecting, processing, and analyzing data. But if you want to get technical, then it looks something like this. Number one, data collection. Data analysts gather data from various sources like databases, spreadsheets, and online repositories. They ensure that the data is accurate and combine it with different sources for a complete data set. Number two, data cleaning. They check for errors, inconsistencies, and missing values, then transform the data into a usable format. They also fill in any missing information using various techniques. Number three, data analysis. They use statistical methods to find patterns and trends, summarize key characteristics, and build models to predict future trends. They also identify groups within the data based on common traits. Number four, data visualization and reporting. Data analysts create charts, graphs, and dashboards to visually represent the data. They summarize their findings in reports or presentations, making recommendations based on their analysis to help stakeholders make informed decisions. Number five, decision support. Data analysts provide recommendations to help with strategic planning and decision making. They monitor key metrics and assess the impact of different decisions. And finally, number six, continuous improvement. They constantly improve their techniques and tools to be more accurate and efficient. They also incorporate feedback to make their analysis more useful. So now that you have a solid understanding of what the job entails, let's talk about why you should consider a career as a data analyst. And number one is high demand. The demand for data analysts is booming. On ZipRecruiter alone, there are currently over 95,000 job openings in the US. Not just that, but the big data and data analytics market is set to double by 2028. So yes, this is a high demand field. Number two, competitive salaries. The average salary for this position is right around $82,000 per year, with some roles paying up to $130,000. Now, I don't know about you, but $82,000 to me sounds pretty good for an entry-level job. And again, you can always upskill and land senior positions that pay much more. And number three, no degree required. You don't necessarily need a degree to become a data analyst. While some big companies may ask for one, most really just care about if you can do the work in your portfolio of work. So now that you're excited and ready to embark on your journey of becoming a data analyst, you probably want to know the steps to make that happen, right? Well, here's your foolproof plan. Step number one, set yourself up for success. Now this step is completely optional, but I can't stress enough how much this can fast track your journey and make everything else so much easier. The truth is most of us weren't taught the best ways to learn and using much more effective techniques can save you tons of time and effort. I'm not gonna deep dive into this topic, but if you're interested in optimizing your learning, then I strongly recommend you check out Andre's Learning How to Learn course. I've personally taken this course and it's been a huge help for me. Plus, you can take this course and within a few days, start applying the strategies you're learning. I'll link it in the top right hand corner and the description down below in case you want to check it out. Step number two, build a solid math and coding foundation. Start by learning statistics with Python. Our Statistics with Python Bootcamp course covers the basics of statistics and Python programming, teaching you how to perform statistical analysis. No prior coding or math experience is needed as everything is taught from scratch. 
Depending on how much time and effort you're putting in, you should budget between 4-6 to six weeks for this topic. I'll link the course in the top right hand corner as well as the description down below. Next, move on to business analytics with Python, and as you guessed it, we have a course for that as well. Our course builds on your statistics knowledge and Python skills, focusing on analyzing and visualizing data, running tests, and improving your data analysis abilities. So if you tally the average time to complete both courses, you're looking at about two months, and by then you should have a solid foundation to start applying for junior data analyst roles. Step number three, learn additional data analysis tools. Now that you've mastered the core skills, it's time to explore some essential tools and advanced techniques that can propel you to higher level positions and boost your earning potential. But be warned, this is where a bulk of your time will be spent. And the first tool you'll need to master here is Excel. Now I know some of you are probably saying, why Excel? My grandpa uses that to track his grocery spending. What difference does that make? Well, the truth is, Excel is one of the most widely used tools online. Millions of companies around the world use it, so you need to know how to use it effectively. This is why I have three course recommendations for you in this step. Now I know what you're thinking, another course? Trust me, it's well worth it. And remember, these are things that you can learn once you've landed that entry level job. Course number one is Excel for basic data analysis. This course will teach you the fundamentals of Excel, including formulas, macros, and so much more. And of course, no prior experience is needed. Course number two, Advanced Excel for Data Analytics and Business Intelligence. This course dives into Excel's power tools like Power Query, Power Pivot Tables, and the DAX formula language. And course number three, VBA for further Excel data analysis. Learn VBA to automate tasks and create custom functionality in Excel, enhancing your data analysis skills. And again, all the course links can be found in the description down below. Alright, now that you've mastered Excel, it's time to move on to other essential tools, starting with SQL. SQL is the standard language for interacting with rational databases, and as a data analyst, you'll often need to extract data from databases to perform analysis. SQL allows you to write queries to retrieve specific data sets, manipulate data, and perform data validation and quality checks, which are all skills that you should know. If you're at this step, of course I'm not going to leave you hanging, so feel free to check out our completely free SQL Crash Course here on YouTube. I'll link it in the description down below. Next, let's talk about time series forecasting with Python. Time series forecasting predicts future values based on historical data points ordered over time. You'll learn how to make educated guesses about future trends using Python, which is essential for predictive analytics, risk management, and performance evaluations. Again, our complete course for time series forecasting with Python will be linked down below. And finally, we have Power BI. Power BI is a powerful data visualization and analysis tool that helps data analysts make sense of complex data sets through interactive reports and dashboards. You can connect it to various data sources, integrate desperate data sets, and create impressive visualizations. Of course, you can find our complete Power BI Bootcamp course linked in the description down below. Okay, I know I just threw a lot at you, but I promise you that after you pass this step, it actually gets easier. Completing all of these courses should take you about 4-6 to six months. The good news is that all these courses are included with the Zero to Mastery membership, so you have everything you need all in one place. Take it one day at a time, and trust me, you'll be well on your way to becoming a skilled and confident data analyst. Step number four, get job ready. If you haven't already, it's time to start applying for jobs. But before that, let's do three quick things that will help you make the best first impression. Number one, update your LinkedIn profile. Ensure your LinkedIn profile looks professional and is up to date. Potential employers often check LinkedIn even if you don't use it to apply for jobs, so make sure it looks the part. Number two, create a one-page resume. Make a concise one-page resume that follows basic best practices. While it won't get you the job on its own, you'll need it for applications. Number three, build a portfolio. Companies want proof that you can do the work, so it's crucial to have a portfolio of projects you've completed. Include projects that showcase your skills in data collection, cleaning, analysis, and visualization. ZTM instructor Dan Scafano covers all of these elements in details in his personal branding course. He even includes how to set up a professional portfolio that stands out, along with other great tips to help differentiate yourself from the crowd. You should already know where to find that. Linked in the top right hand corner and the description down below. Anyways, this step shouldn't take you very long. I would estimate that between one to two weeks, you should be ready to start applying for jobs. Step number five, apply for jobs. 
Now's the time to put yourself out there and apply for data analyst positions. You might not feel 100% ready, but if you've followed along so far, you're more than ready to start entering the workforce. If you're feeling anxious, just remember that you don't need to know every detail to get hired. Many experiences and skills will come on the job anyway, so just get yourself out there. And finally, step number six, continue to upskill. By now, you should be hired and thriving in your new role. But remember, now's not the time to get complacent. You're never too good to learn something new. One of the things we'd recommend is learning to work with AI. AI is everywhere, and being one of those people who embraces it and learns to work with it will put you miles ahead of the competition. Again, I want to clarify that it's not a necessity, but integrating AI into your workflow can tremendously help your productivity. These tools can automate repetitive tasks, saving you time, and allowing you to focus on more complex analysis. AI won't replace your job, but learning how to work with it can definitely make you more invaluable to employers. Now, I'm not going to leave you hanging on the very last step. So if you want to know how you can optimize your life with AI or work in general, click the links in the description down below. And that's pretty much it. The best part is that you can learn every topic and take every course that I mentioned by joining Zero to Mastery. And then come say hi to me on Discord when you do. Also, before you start commenting on something that I missed, this video doesn't cover every single aspect of the career path, but it does give you the high-level steps to help you get started on your journey to becoming a data analyst. If you want even more details, make sure to check out Travis Kuzik's complete guide on becoming a data analyst. I'll link it in the top right-hand corner, as well as the description down below. If you found this video helpful, please smash that like button and consider subscribing for more content just like this. As always, feel free to share your thoughts, questions, or comments down below. Anyways, that's it for me. Stay dedicated, keep learning, and I'll see you in the next video.